Look at all these little micro invertebrates. A baby sand flea! Oh, this is a sand Dude, flea? that is so sick! And, oh, 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 oh my, that is the smallest stingray I have ever seen in my life. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be catching or trying to catch a bunch of little micro invertebrates for our mini saltwater pond. A lot of you guys know we set that mini saltwater pond up about two months ago. It is now going through its like algae stages where it gets a bunch of algae and then it goes away. And it's pretty normal and common for it to go through those stages, but it doesn't look the best. So our main goal today is pretty much, Cam, how you feeling? Cam's feeling great. So our main goal today is pretty much collect as many little micro invertebrates as we can from being like little hermit crabs, snails, and whatever else cool creatures we could find. Let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that, I do want to shout out to Into the AM for hooking it up today with these awesome tees. I got the grizzly bear, and I honestly think this is the best one out of all of them. What do you guys think, Cam? I think mine's better. I like the oak tree. Dude, the oak tree is sick. And this is not the only designs they have. They have a whole bunch of other designs to choose from. These are just my personal favorites. They're even running a bundle deal. So if you wanna get more than one tee, you can automatically get three graphic tees for $60. And then you can even get three basic tees for $45. And even if you want one shirt, all you gotta do is click the link in my description. So whether it's one shirt or the bundle deals, you'll receive 10% off your very next order by just hitting that link right in my description below. Thank you to Into the AM for these elevated graphic tees. Cam absolutely loves them. Ty absolutely loves them. I absolutely love them. And if you guys wanna love them too, all you gotta do is hit that link right in my description down below and you'll receive 10% off. Let's get into this video. So pretty much right now, we're just gonna scope out this whole area. We're actually at a park, plenty of spots to look for. We got a high tide that we're working with right now, and that's not the best conditions for like catching little invertebrates, but I think we'll still find them. Right here, perfect. Look at this. So these are actually little snails, and these guys will clean up the tank a ton, but you can actually see, look, you ever seen a pink snail before? That's a pink snail right there. Look at that. And these guys will actually go in the tank, clean up all that algae, so we'll definitely add some of these. Look at all these little snails, all on these rocks. And they're pretty much just doing what they would probably do in the aquarium, which is eating all that algae off these rocks. So taking a few is obviously not going to hurt. Look at this little pink one. Slowly moving. You can see the little antennas coming out. That's sick. But we're going to take get them out from here. And then we should be set. We need you to go find some hermit crabs, man. Or even little blue crabs. There's a bunch of different things. But right now we're trying to find little, little hermit crabs. Or what was that? Okay, or maybe some blue crabs. Crab. Oh, oh, oh! When you got it? Did you get him? Oh, he got him! <laughs> yeah, he's got Cam. <laughs> I think we're gonna let him go. He's pretty mad. I don't think he's gonna let me go. Feed him to the mantis shrimp. Ooh, should we pass? Should we add him to the bucket? All right. Well, Cam got a crab, so I think we're gonna add this guy to the bucket. So I can't find anything, so I'm gonna pretty much just send the boys off right now, and they're gonna go try to find something. And if they don't come back within the five minutes with something, um, I'm gonna leave them here. So by the next clip, if I'm in the car by myself or not, we'll know if they got something. See you guys. Oh, hey, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> See you, boys. Wait. We'll see you later. All right. Yeah. Micro invertebrates. They should have caught something. All right. So we're at spot number two, that being the tide pool spot. We're going to see if we can maybe get lucky and find some hermit crabs here since we didn't find any at the other spot. Pretty much going to scope all these tide pools and see what we can find. Oh, dude. Holy cow. I found some little hermit crabs. Little hermit crabs and snails. There's snails right there, and then there's two hermit crabs right here. We're gonna get those guys in the bucket. Look at these snails. These are different kinds. I don't know what kind of snail this is, but definitely a different kind of shell from the ones we caught before. Pretty cool looking though. We'll get these guys in the bucket. Look how sick this is, dude. Look at the little stream going all the way down. And that's how these tide pools actually become tide pools. You see this water just slowly, like every five seconds rising up like this. Well, when the tide gets really high, all these tide pools get filled. And then when the tide goes out, they're pretty much just left with water until the tide rises back up. But look at this. What are these things, dude? I saw these a while back. Oh! Look how pretty it is out, though. Absolutely insane. And this all is a reef. So all these tide pools and all these rocks you're seeing right now, imagine this like 20 feet out underwater. There are so many different fish and creatures that we can find. And if you guys think we should go dive that reef, comment down below or give this video a thumbs up. Oh, and okay. And that right there is a mangrove. A little ma what? A whale? A whale? 
Oh my god! Shamu! <laughs> <Yeah, it's Shenmue. laughs> That's a nice whale! Dude, it's Shamu! This is what he brings to us. So he did find a whale, but... It's probably one of the kids over there. Probably is, Cam. Go give it back to him, dude. Alright, man. Yeah. Look at this. Ready? I don't know what if that's a baby crab. What is it? Oh, a baby sand flea! Oh, is it, is it sand Dude, that is so sick! That is literally a micro saltwater invertebrate right there. Baby sand flea. And you can see him just going and trying to dig into the sand here. I want to see if I can grab one. Got him. Look at this. Little baby sand flea. That is sick. We'll let him go back in the water. Tide pools are not me. What? Right no! There. Baby stinger! No way! What do you mean? Look, look right there, look. Let me see the net, let me see the net. Bro, we got stuck in the tide pool. Oh my, that is the smallest stingray I have ever oh, seen in my life. See Dude, is he alive? Was he moving? Oh, oh he's, he's, alive. Alive. he's alive. He's alive. Oh my gosh, a baby stingray. What kind of stingray is this? Dude, all right, be careful because I'm sure it definitely still has a barb. And then make sure that bucket has water because we're definitely keeping this guy. Oh my gosh, a little baby stingray. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, in a tide pool. A little micro stingray. This guy's 100% and I almost just got barbed. Going into the mini saltwater pond. He's like perfect size. We're gonna put him in this bucket for right now. Just so he has some water. Cam, give me some. Dude, this is crazy. That's the coolest thing. Last thing, yeah, that's the coolest thing we've caught out of a tide pool. For sure. Last thing I expected to catch was a baby stingray. Shout out to Cam because he's the one who actually spotted it. We were over there just looking through the tide pools and we probably would have never seen that guy because they definitely, I don't know how you saw him. Like that thing was camouflaged so well and they bury under the sand, so. I, I kind of saw him like flutter underneath the sand a little bit. And I was like, whoa, what was that? And then it, I saw his tail and I was like, oh, it's a stingray. That is so sick. I've never seen one this small, but guys, if you have any idea on what kind of stingray this is, comment down below and let us know. It's honestly pretty hard to tell just because of how small he is. I think he may just be a common Florida stingray because we have tons of them here. Just, it's really rare to see them this small. So we ended up trying to get a bunch of micro invertebrates for the mini saltwater pond. And then we ended up finding a mini stingray that we are definitely putting in the mini saltwater pond. So what we're gonna do is get everything together and we'll see you guys back at the house. We are back at the mini saltwater pond. By the way, everything is doing awesome in here. Look at our little grouper. There he is right there in the cave. You can see his blue fins along with one of the cleaner shrimps. You can see his whiskers coming out. And then we got our dog face puffer right there just swimming. And oh, look at the grouper. Dude, that is so sick. This pond is, this mini, I think I like the mini pond a little bit more than the big pond. I don't know. So what we're gonna do is get this guy acclimated by just adding a cup of water about every, what the? Every like uh, 15 minutes or an hour. And then we should be set to go. While our little stingray is acclimating, we did catch the blue crab, or Cam did. And ow! And this guy is going to be food, ow, for our mantis shrimp. Oh, he sees that. He sees it. Boom. <laughs> oh, he didn't kill it though. That's it. Gone. Gone. And, oh, 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 oh! Well, there goes the crab. Mantis shrimp is just gonna down that thing. He completely annihilated it. Just use those front punchers. And those front punchers are actually like used as punching gloves and he just knocks out the prey like he just did. And then he slowly eats him. So, Cam, what do you think about that? Was that your first time seeing him eat in person? My, my blue crab, bro. <laughs> now I almost forgot about our little snails. So we're gonna get a good amount of these guys in the pond. And hopefully you see all that little orange algae on the rocks and stuff. That's what these guys are gonna help with. They're just gonna eat all that and it's gonna be a win-win. The snails get fed, and we get a clean pond. There goes a, some more. Then we got a couple more in there. We're gonna get our stingray in. Bro, this pond is perfect size for him. And another cool thing about the pond is that it, it, I know it's square, but it actually has round edges. So there's just a constant flow that goes around and he'll actually enjoy that a lot better. Got it. Look at that. Guys, comment down below right now and let us know what we should name our new baby stingray. Comment down below. Here he goes. Look at that. So he's just chilling right now. He's probably like, where the heck am I? He definitely is like not used to this, but um, probably give him a couple days to just get adjusted to the pond. Anything new we add in here, we usually just turn off the lights, let him get adjusted. And then in a week or so, they're doing awesome and already hand feeding. So probably be the same process with this little guy. But like I said, comment down below what we should name him. This is our first little micro stingray we've ever caught. And the best of all, he went in the micro saltwater pond with all our fish. Big shout out to Cam. 
Big shout out to Ty for all helping out today. From catching hermit crabs to finding a baby stinger in a tide pool. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. We post videos every other day, similar to this, and a whole bunch more. So with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!